Arachnids. These eight-legged creepy crawlies can send shivers down the spine of just about anyone. Now, this creepy factor doesn't just come out of nowhere. For one reason or another, people are freaked out by arachnids. But just how founded is this apprehension around these animals? While some are capable of delivering a dangerous bite or maybe a painful sting, there is one group of arachnids in particular that people believe some pretty interesting stuff about, and that's the apilions. While you may know these strange invertebrates by a different name, such as Harvestman or Daddy Longlegs, it may surprise you to find out just how little you actually know about these arachnids. I've heard all my life living in the American South that these were the most venomous spider, but their fangs were just too small to bite. Wrong. These aren't even spiders. We're going to deep dive into the world of the daddy long legs today to find out the truth about these odd arachnids and their feared bite. Why? Because that's my job. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and most dangerous creatures alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most dangerous and misunderstood creatures. Today I'm hiking some beautiful habitat to see if I can't unlock the secrets of one of North America's most misunderstood arachnids, the Daddy Longlegs. For millennia, the American populace has believed lies about the apilion colloquially known as the Daddy Long Leg. Now these creatures, these denizens of the forest, are quite peaceful. And although many believe that they are quite dangerous, this could not be further from the truth. We are, today are going to explore this deciduous wood, see if we can capture and procure one of these unique arachnids to spread the truth about what these organisms truly are. And what are they truly? Extraordinary. So join us as we search for the lovely harvestman dubbed the Daddy Long Leg. While in possession of eight legs, these creatures are far from being spiders. Opilions really aren't even all that closely related to spiders at all and are in fact much more closely related to scorpions than they are to our web-slinging friends. Additionally, most apilions are opportunistic omnivores, scavenging mostly on dead and decaying organic material, with very few species proportionally that actively hunt for prey. They are also capable of swallowing physical food rather than liquefied innards like their spider cousins, and use their small, pincer-like mouth parts to peel small chunks of food off to eat. Take a look at what we found. The lovely, the dainty, Daddy Longleg. Ah, oh, he's biting me! Ah! Oh! 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 Yeah, 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 Opilions aren't that venomous in fact they're not venomous at all yeah yeah dude up yeah all right i'm gonna spit some truth at y'all for a sec y'all ready number one jack aren't daddy long legs the most venomous spider in the world no. No. So wait, if these arachnids mostly scavenge food or go after small animals they rip apart to eat, do they even use venom at all? 
Great question. Of course, the answer is no. Despite what many people believe, these harvestmen are completely void of venom. And like their whip scorpion cousins, they don't rely on this liquid weapon to procure food. The daddy long legs and their bites are completely and utterly harmless to us humans and are nothing to fear or be creeped out by. This just goes to show how easily you can get the wrong idea about an entire group of animals just through wives' tales and misinformation. There are still tens of thousands that believe these harmless arachnids carry a deadly weapon within them. But now you know better. Look at that. No reason to be afraid of these little creatures. No reason to kill them. Oh. 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 Yep. So you can see right down under here, under this body segment, Got those little tiny claspers, and then they actually have these two little chelicerae, like a sulfugit or a vinegaroon, these little kind of claw-like snappy mouthpieces that help tear off their decaying food, and bring it into their gullet so that they can eat it. How cool. Let's see if we can find some more. Look in this cave. An Apilio trying to hide in the darkness. You think the darkness is your ally? I was born in the dark, molded by it. I did not see the light till I was a man, and by then it was nothing but blinding to me. But you're not gonna get hurt by them. They're just little, they're little like, I mean, they're like little Tim Burton characters. They're not even real. It's like some somebody in, Somebody at Lucasfilm made up. It's just like a little ball with a bunch of little legs on it. And people are like, oh, careful. That's the most venomous spider in North America. If the fangs were any bigger, that would kill you in one bite. No fangs. No venom. All lies. Lies. But aren't these so interesting? I'm going to try and get some really cool shots of these. Some close-up shots of just these bizarre alien-looking arachnids. Because they are... Interesting. Really, really cool. And harmless, of course. So we'll let this guy back into the darkness. There you go, pal. Oh, he failed. He's all right. So just how deadly is the bite of the daddy long legs? Not deadly at all. Without venom, these arachnids pose no threat to us humans, and we can finally put this strange wives' tale to bed. It's easy to look at creepy crawlies and believe the horrible and scary rumors that we hear about them, but it's important to do our own research. Many animals all over the globe struggle with quote-unquote bad press that negatively impacts not just them, but their habitats and conservation as well. When we fear a group of animals, it makes us less likely to protect them and their habitats, which doesn't just hurt them, it hurts the animals they live alongside and hurts the health of our planet as a whole. Every creature on this tiny blue planet serves a role in its respective ecosystem, and it's our job to understand that each and every organism is here to play its part in maintaining the balance of nature on this planet. Don't be blind with fear. Do your best to understand the natural world and all her inhabitants. We're a part of that big family and we all benefit to protect all of our species and wild spaces. So, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, a lot of dedication goes into, you know, picking up these little these little things so really appreciate that um the level of support and kindness uh that you afford me so thank you guys uh that was really kind to you it was really sweet that you guys decided to do that for me so that's that was pretty sick uh like sick good uh of you guys to do that um which you know just really great um you know, uh, a, a you know, real chicken noodle soup of the soul kind of deal. So, 
thank you guys so much uh, for <laughs> tuning in today. And remember that, you know, I care about you, that, you know, there are people that care about you and they're the people that care about you really need you to subscribe and to turn on post notifications and buy my merchandise and join the channel memberships and stick around for the next episode. So just like, don't do it for me. Don't do it for the awesome content. Don't do it for the cool stuff that you get to see. Do it for those that you love because being in defiance of their wishes, it's basically a slap in the face. So thank you all so much for tuning in and I hope to see you next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife. <laughs>